Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So tonight is our Christmas party at the salon where I work and I thought that I would just film kind of like an old school get ready with me. Oh hello, he'd like to be included. I feel like these videos have become a thing of the past kind of and I miss them sometimes. Before I actually start getting ready though, this video is sponsored by Dossier. They make dupes for popular name brand fragrances such as YSL, Jo Malone, Tom Ford. So you're getting the exact same fragrance and the exact same quality, same lasting power, etc but it just comes in simpler packaging. So you're paying a fraction of the price, which is great. Like if you can save money, why not? Also, I really like the way the symbol packaging looks. I think it just looks a lot cleaner sitting out on my dresser. My longtime favorite that I have been wearing for over a year now is the Ambery Saffron. I've gotten so many compliments at work on how I smell and all of the girls have asked me what I wear and I know a few of them now have been purchasing from Dossier. This is a dupe for the Baccarat Rouge 540 which is originally like $300 but the Dossier version is $49. So hello like do I need to say more? And I recently discovered this one this is the Ambery Vetiver. This is the combo I'm going to be wearing to the party tonight. We're doing a white elephant gift exchange before we go out. I was like oh I'll just get them a perfume because they all compliment me on how I smell all the time anyway so you're welcome ladies. So I will have a link and a discount code in the description. Definitely go check it out. Also I know in my previous videos a few people have let me know that the discount code wasn't working. I checked in, we got it all fixed. I don't know what the issue was but we got it taken care of so the code should be working now. Thank you so much Dossier for sponsoring this video. I already prepped my skin. I put moisturizer and a little SPF on and now I'm gonna do some under eye concealer. This is the Tarte CC under eye corrector. I love this stuff. Even on days where I'm not wearing makeup, if I just need to like brighten up my under eyes, like add some coverage, I'll just tap a little bit of this stuff on. The foundation I just applied was a mix of the Essence Pretty Natural with the Makeup Forever HD Skin and I'm in the shade 170 Neutral Cashmere in this one and 2N34 in this one. Now I'm applying the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Medium 1 Custard. This brush by the way I love so much. It's super fluffy and I feel like it blends everything really well without like taking away too much of the makeup. This is the Morphe M439 brush. Really making sure to blend everything down. Now I'm going to take a little bit of translucent powder. This is from Derma Blend, their loose setting powder. And I'm just going to press this into my under eye area a little on the eyelids and then I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna lightly set everything with this oh I shouldn't have done this I wanted to wear liquid blush oh well okay what's the next step I rarely wear makeup anymore these days honestly and when I do it's like really light and natural. I haven't done like a full glam kind of makeup look in a while so a little rusty. This is the NYX matte bronzer that I have had forever. I'm super excited for this party tonight. So we are meeting at the salon. We're doing our white elephant gift exchange which I keep accidentally calling a drunk elephant <laughs> because uh, that's a brand and also um, it might be a drunk elephant gift exchange <laughs> but yeah we're doing our gift exchange and we're kind of like I guess pre-gaming a little bit at the salon and then she has a limo 
coming to pick us up like so bougie and extra it's hilarious and then we're gonna like just drive around and drink in the limo <laughs> and then we are going to a restaurant we have reservations at an italian like family style restaurant downtown next i am gonna do highlight i like to put my highlight on before my blush so that way it kind of like peeks through a little bit and it's not as like stripey i hate when you just see the highlight like sitting on top of everything and i'm just going to take a little fan brush this is the becca champagne pop which look at it ah! i should have known that was going to happen all right well we got some highlight on the legs that actually that might look kind of nice i'm gonna go a little heavy with it since i'm gonna put the blush on top anyway and also like you know it's nighttime makeup but yeah, anyway, this highlight is old. I've had it for a really long time, and I just love it so much. And um, even though it's been through the freaking ringer, now I just spilled a bunch of it on my carpet. Okay, next, blush. This is the NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush in the shade Daydream. It's very pretty, and it's quite pigmented, which I love. I love a very intense blushy look and i for a while now i've been applying my blush like in an upward direction rather than like just on the apples of my cheeks because i feel like it just makes my face look a little more like upswept and lifted from here i'm gonna do setting spray this is the morphe continuous setting mist okay what's next Brows. I guess I should do brows. I'm just going to do some brow gel. This is from the Sephora line. Just their volumizing fiber brow mascara in the shade number five, Deep Brown. Just kind of darken it, fluff it up a little bit. I just randomly have that Paul Anka song. Put your head on my shoulder stuck in my head now it's time for eyeshadow which i never do anymore but i'm kind of excited i do want to do a little bit of a smoky eye nothing like too too crazy because i still want to feel like myself and i still want to feel pretty like i don't know sometimes if i overdo it with things and i do something that's like really out of my normal comfort zone i just I just feel like meh, not like myself, not my best. So I keep all my makeup in my bedroom. So I just brought a bunch of stuff out here in the living room to get ready. And I thought this was the Lorac Pro eyeshadow palette and I opened it and I was like, oh, <laughs> nope, that's uh, bronzers. That's not going to help me. All right, hold on. I need to go find some eyeshadow <laughs> be right back hmm i'm gonna use i have this old school original carly bible bh cosmetics palette that i know is long gone no longer available anymore but uh i've had this baby forever and it's good it's got some good colors in there so i'm gonna use that and then i have the lorac unzipped i thought i have the original lorac pro palette too but i guess i don't have it here i think it's in my old makeup kit that's at my parents house so i am gonna use i think i just want to do like browns the dress i'm wearing tonight is a dark green velvet there's this kind of like coppery color in this palette i think that is what i want to do oh yeah on my lids i think that would be super pretty i don't know if you can even see it because this lighting sucks i think this will be really pretty with the green dress okay that's what we're doing okay 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 i'm gonna use this matte brown from the lorac palette that is brown right yeah okay actually i guess i could use these contour shades as eyeshadow let's just do that whatever we're just doing some brown in the crease it's so funny because I talk and act like I don't know what the hell I'm doing when it comes to makeup anymore because I just don't really like care about it as much 
But, like, I used to do it professionally on clients, and, like, I'm not the best at it, obviously. There's, of course, people that are, like, actually way, way better with it. But, like, I mean, I do know what I'm doing for the most part. I just don't really take it so seriously because, like, whatever, you know? It's kind of amazing working where I work now because I can go all out and not be like overdone because like they all are gonna go all out too you know what I mean and I feel like a lot of them are even more dramatic and bougie than I am which is great I love it oh this is so exciting I haven't done a smoky eye like this in so long like I can't even remember the last time I have okay yes I am liking how that's looking so far now I'm gonna go with that coppery color from the Carly Bible palette and then I think I'm gonna do like a little bit of a wing just a little flick Oh yeah, I think that looks good. Maybe. Okay, I had to upload the footage that was on my SD card because it ran out of space. So I curled most of my hair. I'm just using this wand that is, I'm gonna guess like a half inch diameter. And then I'm just gently finger combing through them to loosen them up. I'm trying to decide if I want to do a middle part or a side part. Maybe I'll just do it down the middle and then I can always like flip it over. Just grab a piece, twist it around all the pieces that I am twisting away from my face and then I just hold it there for like 15 seconds or so. And then I take it down and I pull on the end to loosen it a little bit. So that way it's not like super tight because I don't want my hair to like bounce up too much. I want it to still be as long as possible. And then once it's cool, that's when I'll comb through it. Real like Carrie Bradshaw-esque curls. I'm just gonna do a little bit of dry shampoo. This is the Kenra Volume Dry Shampoo. Just give a little extra volume at the roots. And this will also help my style last a little bit longer. My hair won't get oily as quickly. All right, let's go put on the dress. So I'm trying to figure out my purse situation because I don't want to bring like a big bag, obviously. So I have this little one that I'm pretty sure is from H&M, but my wallet doesn't fit in it. And I know I have a smaller wallet somewhere, but <laughs> I'm kind of in a rush now. Um, and then I saw I had this pack of gum that came in this plastic case and I was like wait a second that's kind of perfect for just some cash my ID and a card beautiful that way I don't have to just have my stuff loose in my bag and I don't have to risk losing anything I got the dress on I got my shoes on my bag is ready now I just have to put on something on my lips um just gonna do my usual this is the kkw beauty lip liner in the shade nude one which does not exist anymore but i'm pretty sure charlotte tilbury has a similar shade iconic nude i think i want to say is very similar to this and then i have the matching lipstick that i'm just gonna tap in the center and then i'm just gonna do a clear gloss now we just need perfume ambery saffron and then I'm gonna do a little bit of the ambery vetiver 
Okay, I'm ready. Here is my look for the night. Now you can't see it because this lighting sucks. I'll show you, but I just wanted to give you like a full body. By the way, don't mind my bed sheets. They are currently in the dryer. I'm gonna regret it tonight when I get home and I'm gonna have to make my bed. It is what it is. I, I just, I don't have time. I gotta go. Here is some better lighting. So it's a dark green velvet. There we are. It's my look for the evening. The dress is from Cider. I will link it down below. These earrings are from XIXI, Adrian by Loans brand. And here's a better look at the makeup. And these are the shoes that I'm wearing. There's the highlighter that I spilled on the floor, by the way. <laughs> I'll vacuum that up later. By later, I mean tomorrow. Um, these heels are from H&M. I gotta go, though, because I told one of my coworkers that I would pick her up on the way. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and for getting ready with me. I will list all the products that I use in the description and put links to as much as I can. But I'll see you in my next one. Bye.